What's up, Bulldogs? All right, I have an email here from a gentleman who is in a little bit of trouble. So he emailed me and I figured I would answer his email in the best way that I can. The title of his email is, The Monsters in My Head Are Screaming So Damn Loud. All right, that's the subject line. He says here, John, what's the point? I'm in, I'm by my lonesome 24 seven. I've been working on practicing self-care and watching the videos in the membership daily to break the victim mindset. What else can I do? Every day for the past 15 years, I have thoughts of suicide because nothing I do is working. My own family hates me. I'm 33. I don't feel like I fit in anywhere I go. I could drop dead and no one would notice. I'm tired. I'm tired of being utterly alone. People only talk to me when it's negative or they need something. I'm hanging by a thread and lately I feel like giving up because everything seems so pointless. What would a bulldog do? Yeah, this is a tough one, Eric. So there, there's a lot of things that that are going on here, and uh, you know, and it, it can definitely seem like life is hopeless. And you know, the thing is, there's so many people right now that are struggling with loneliness, and you just kind of wonder why don't all those people kind of get together, <laughs> and uh, and and beat loneliness together, right? Uh, but but the answer is is because being with people will not solve your loneliness, right? The, the only way that you can really solve your loneliness is by being with yourself. I, I did some videos on you're always going to be alone. I did an updated video, you're always going to be alone too. I'll try to put a link in the description here, but you, you can also just check it out by searching on the YouTube channel that's been doing these daily videos. But, you know, the thing is, you know, how do you get out of this victim mindset? Like, what is really the problem? You really have to think about what is the problem that you have right now and then what are the rational steps to solve this problem? And I know this seems like pretty basic advice, but so many people don't do this, right? You, you know, you said that for 15 years, uh, nothing you do is working. Your family hates you, right? Um, you, you feel like you don't fit in anywhere. Uh, no one would notice if you drop dead. You're, you're tired of being utterly alone. People only talk to you when it's negative, right? So forget people. <laughs> you know, one, one of the things that, that happens that, that I find is that when we try to fit in so much, when we try to be loved so much, it's actually a repelling force. So it, it's really, if you think about it, the people that, that we admire the most, the people that have the most charisma, the p people that we're most attracted to, are, tend to be the people that don't really need anyone, that don't really try to win anyone's approval that don't really care what other people think they're they're marching to the beat of their own drum and so that's that's kind of what you need to be doing right right now every, every time that you focus on other people you're projecting neediness and neediness is a repellent the more needy you are the more you're going to repel people now unfortunately what happens is the more that you're repelled by people the more needy you become it's just like this think about this in a relationship, I, I see this often in relationships where, let's say that two people are in a relationship, all right? And one person starts to feel like they're not being paid enough attention to. They, they, they feel like the other person maybe doesn't care about them as much. And so what do, what do they do as a natural response to that? Well, they, they become clingy. They, they try to get affection from that other person. And what is the response of that other person usually? Well, it's, it's, they're, they're sensing that neediness, that desperation. It's, it's kind of repulsive. So they distance themselves more. They push away more. And what is the response in the first person? Well, now they're feeling even more desperate. They're being rejected even more. So their neediness, that, that feeling of loneliness, of loss, is magnified. And so they push even harder. And where you're, what you're doing right now, Eric, is you're pushing really, really hard. And I understand why. Right? I mean, it, it, it is hard because you have been rejected, but you have to start to realize that you are the source of your own rejection. Right? Now, the, the reason why I say this is because there's nothing wrong with you. There, there's no reason. There's so many people in this world. There's so many different kinds of people in this world. There's a lot of weird people that find people that like them, that get along with, with people, have their own kind. Right? Why, why haven't you found your own kind? Well, the reason why is because no matter what, as long as you are projecting this desperation, this neediness, it's going to be seen as repulsive. Okay. 
And so that's why what you have to do in order to succeed is you have to give up. <laughs> and I don't mean give up on life. Don't misinterpret what I'm saying. I mean give up. Give up on trying to please people. Give up and tr on trying to win the approval of people. Give up on trying to get the validation of people. If your family doesn't like you, then fuck your family. <laughs> then they can fuck off. You know, just seriously, don't even, don't even bother with it, right? If they don't like you, that's their problem. That's their loss. Big deal. They, they can, you know, they can, they can do whatever they want, but stop caring about that. Stop caring about all of these things. And what you're going to find is when you start doing that, when, when you just drop this, when you let go of this, right? When you stop resisting, what you resist persists, then you just let it be and you just focus on just being comfortable with yourself right? You know, just, just focus on doing the things that you enjoy in life. It's freeing. It's so free to know that it doesn't matter, right? When you're in this world where you're like trying to please people and you're trying to get people's approval, which you're never going to be able to do in a hundred percent because what you do for one person or how you act one way is going to upset someone else, right? <laughs> Take my hair, for example, right? <laughs> Some people are so offended by my long hair when my hair was long. Ah, you look like a homeless person, blah, 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 right? You know, I did cut my hair, but I cut my hair because I wanted to cut my hair. But then everyone's like, oh, your haircut looks so good. I'm like, really, all these people are obsessed about my hair. If I have long hair, some people hate me. <laughs> Other people are like, that looks cool. You look like Iron Man or look like Aquaman, right? Some people like that. I can't please everyone. I can't have my hair long and short at the same time. Okay, I know that a majority of you like the short hair. I, I, I get the message was received, but I don't really care <laughs> because I wanted to grow my hair out and see what it was going to be like. And now, well, I, I didn't like it. Okay, honestly, you, you guys are right. right? So whatever. <laughs> okay, but here's the thing is that you, you got to stop trying to please people. That, that's, that's the thing, right? If you stop doing that, if you just start focusing on what makes you happy, and, and you basically like, I don't care what, what anyone else thinks. All of a sudden, you're going to be much more att attractive to people. You will. And, and, you, and you will find, uh, you know, two things. One, that you don't need other people in order to not be lonely. You are always alone in this world. It is true. But you can be happy just being by yourself, just enjoying the things that you like to do. Man, I, I, don't, I don't need anyone in my life. I, I enjoy the people that I have in my life. But... There's so many things I love doing. I love reading and exploring and, and learning about things and writing books and, and making things and going on runs and hikes and playing video games. And, you know, there's so many things in life that I would like to just explore, just sitting quietly and trying to see if I can, I can make my mind still through meditation, right? Like, I, I enjoy doing those things, just exploring the world and nature. Uh, exploring my own psyche, right? Going deep and, and figuring out myself. These are fun things to do, right? I don't need anyone to do those things. Now, yeah, is it is it nice to have uh, people around? Sure, it is, but I don't need them. I also enjoy just being by myself. And and see, once you start really embracing that and start doing that, you, you'll find that you actually do enjoy that, that you are, you know, you, you have to love yourself. You, you cannot have other people love you if you don't love yourself. You, you can't love other people truly and, and other people aren't going to love you until you love yourself, right? You know, the, the people that attract us the most are the people that think that they're awesome, <laughs> right? Just like I was saying earlier in this video, they're the people that are like, they're cool with themselves. They're, they, they don't have anything to prove. They're, they're, you know, when, when someone is trying to impress us, when someone is trying to get us to like them, they come across as a vampire, an energy vampire. They're needy. They're trying to take something from us, even if it's just a smile. It still feels like taking something, right? When someone is content with themselves, when they're happy just living their life and they're just, they're, they're happy without anyone else, you want to be around that person because they just give energy. They just emanate this energy instead of taking it, right? And so the first thing that you'll find is that you don't need people. And the second thing that you'll find is that people will be more attracted to you and, and you will find that th those people will start to see that that value in you but you can't do it for the second reason you cannot do this this is not a game that you play a trick that you do uh that you manifest this thing you have to truly be committed to finding 
peace and tranquility within yourself. If you need some help with this, start reading some Stoic philosophy. I'm going to make a new channel where I'm going to go through Stoic philosophy and, 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 and break down Seneca's letters to Lysilius verse by verse and, and talk about these things because I think it's, it's extremely valuable and it's, it's fun. <laughs> but do that, seriously. And you're already in the membership, so hey, you know what? Reach out to some people in there. See if there's some people that are in your area. Okay. It, it, again, don't think that's going to solve your problem, though, because you can be with people and still feel alone. You have to be comfortable with yourself, and you're just going to repel people if you, if you can't learn that. But do those things, and then see what happens. And, and I, I promise you, it, it will change. It will change your life. So uh, one thing I, I want to say also for, for you guys uh, as well is that I do have the Bulldog Mindset membership. You know, Eric said here that, that he's in the membership. And if you'd like to join it, uh, just click the link down below, check it out. It's it, it's really cool. I, I've been putting together a lot of content in there over the years, uh, and I'm gonna reboot this here in a little bit. It's gonna be probably in January because I'm still in this process of really figuring out, uh, you know, wh what I wanna be doing and, and really getting back in touch with the, the philosopher John, as, as, as people call it. I think it's, my energy is philosopher shaman energy. That's, <laughs> that's what it is. But, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to be the artist. So, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a community that, uh, that I intend to grow and, uh, and, and I, I plan on doing a lot of cool stuff in there. So if you're interested in it, go check that out. Um, if you're interested in doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, I do have a couple of slots that have opened up. So you can email me at john at bulldogmindset.com. And if you've got a question, you can email me there as well. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow.